The Suns put up 46 points in a single quarter. Peyton Pritchard gets his money. Plus, we're going to be breaking down the Boston Celtics, the new look Boston Celtics in their opening preseason game. And the Clippers are still in pursuit of James Harden. We're going to talk about all that and more right after this. Welcome to the number one place for your daily basketball news and analysis. NBA Central. What's going on, basketball fans? Welcome to another episode of NBA Central. And it's a little different. We got something today. We got Bobby, C Dub, Steve O, and Hayes all in the building. The jam packed episode. And fellas, we got to talk about first one of the new superpowers to really form over this summer was the Phoenix Suns. And they put up 46 points in a single quarter. Now, we didn't see much from them after that, but I want to break that down. I also want to break down how you guys feel about their starting five there. On top of their big three, they're adding Josh Akogi and Yusuf Nurkic, who started in this preseason game. How you guys feeling, man? Oh, man, this team, the Phoenix Suns, I got to say, and I'm not even uh, jumping the gun or going a little over-exaggeration right here. But this team is definitely a contender for the championship. And it's just basically off the preseason. And it's not just the starting lineup, which is pretty much going to be unstoppable. As long as Nurkic can stay uh, healthy. And I'm a little worried about they back up big. That is a little problem for me. But their depth is undercover. Like on the low-key side, they got a nice bench on this squad. Grayson Allen. Uh, Bobo, Bo, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm a little iffy how Bobo was used today. Uh, he looked a little lost out there. I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, they got other pieces out there. Uh, Kogi, he will be good in the starting lineup, or if he come off the bench, he'll be a nice energy guy for the team to switch it up. They also got other pieces. This team is gonna be, it's gonna be something to deal with when it comes to the playoff time because they got three guys that can go get it at any time, any time. Man, these motherfuckers made me out of a lie quick. Like, I, I, I really thought it was going to be a, a hassle to figure out how they was going to make this shit work. They was in this mud playing and tag team wrestling this mug. You win, you win, you win, you shoot, you shoot. But it wasn't to the point where it got stagnant because that, that game, that um style don't work for everybody. And um it kind of put you in a lot of situations, but they didn't allow it, they didn't allow it to because... I think they had a real conversation. We're going to spread this sugar and we're going to work out the kinks as the, as the um, things go. Like you said before, I'm not a big fan of how they used uh, Boho Bo that much, but I don't think anybody knows how to, how to use him. He's just such a unicorn. Yeah. It's yeah. just, it's going to take a certain type of coach to figure it out. So, to be honest, it's going to take a certain type of coach to still figure this whole team out because what happens when they figure it out? Everybody gets figured out at one point. But it's going to take a longer time where you have four mugs to throw the ball to at any time. Any time. So the fact they got 40, <laughs> just to come out the gate, it was the first quarter they got 46 points. So it was like right. slapping your mouth. We ain't playing. This is for real. And, uh, yeah, this, this the West, I don't know what they, they y'all, y'all, they got off, uh, what they call the dogs, Cerberus. Them mugs is Cerberus. <laughs> <laughs> for real. God, like, <laughs> he went Greek mythology on right. that. Mythology, hey, Cerberus. Crazy. Going crazy. Can, I add, can I add that it, the, the Detroit Pistons are going to be a talented yeah, just team? Just about to say, but it's the it Detroit was against Pistons. the Detroit Pistons, yeah. and they still up, like, you. how do you score 46 points in the quarter and you still only end up winning the game by four? That game was 130 to 126, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. yeah. That yeah, was yeah. They said, defense, what? Be right. damned. <laughs> well, Bobby, what are your thoughts about the Phoenix Suns, man? Just a little sample that we saw, that being a 46-point sample in a quarter, though. Very impressive. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Me personally, I thought it was gonna be like a lot of ISO. So, but mm. they did run some action, and uh, exactly. you know what I'm saying. They ran some action. They got things going. Uh, y'all brought it up already, so I'm gonna just go ahead and dive into it. It is the Detroit Pistons. I would like to, you know, it is preseason, so you still you can't you can't deny that they got scores everywhere. everywhere. And it seems like that in just game one, there's some unselfishness. So that's a good thing for all these guys. Um, I think that. When you got these guys being able to score the way they, they can, you got a lot of problems. But I do want to see, you know, when things get a little bit more tight, when these guys face some adversity, how do they respond? You know what I'm saying? Because for the, for the last two years, we've seen Kevin Durant 
kind of take a step back in the playoffs just a little bit mm-hmm. and you see guys like Devin Booker elevate his game and you butt and you waiting on Kevin Durant to kind of step up. So I want to see more out of this. It is early. So good start so far. But I want to go ahead and make sure I'm evaluating everything before I be like, hey, these the guys. But they definitely in contention, though. They definitely in contention, though. And one more thing I got to add. I just do got to say. We haven't seen them go down to a last shot situation. I think that's the one that I'm worried about the most. I don't even think I would be worried about a last shot. My bad drip. I wouldn't even worry about a last shot with these guys because either one of them can take a last shot. And I'm talking about the three, three-headed mm-hmm. money. I'm not, well, I'm not necessarily saying about the ability of them to take it. It's the ego. That's what I'm worried yeah. about. I mean, I think I think you got guys like I think Book. Uh, just in, in looking at the way that this team's make up, Book learned to take a backseat in a way to Chris Paul, even though he was the better player, right? Yeah. And Chris right. Paul is an annoying ass. Well, like players don't like Chris Paul, right? They're they back. respect him, mm-hmm. but they don't like him. But then you have Durant. He's already played with Steph Draymond. He understands what made that breakup. And then you got it really comes down to Bill. Bill has, yes, he's played with John Wall, but I also think Bill's at the point where he just wants to win. So I don't know if ego is a thing for this particular group of people just because of what they what they went through before they came together, if that makes sense. But Uh, that makes a lot of sense. Hey, I got a question. Um I think this is a super team. We go ahead and call this a super team. Oh, for sure. sure. Yeah, Yeah, okay. Usually when we have a super team somebody has to change their game a little bit i'm thinking it's gonna be bradley bill am i correct in thinking it's gonna be bradley bill i I almost think it's gonna be kd because he understands how to do it like kd can get his at any time and we saw kd especially that second championship with the warriors Mm -hmm. during that playoff he turned himself into a more defensive guy first and then let his offense come (laughs) in the flow of the game so we may see him go back to kind of naturally that again because he's done it before that was also a position change. He also no, switched that's to. True. Yeah, that's true. But um, yeah, I'm I'm on the same lines as him. I feel like if anybody you want to put in a versatile, more situation is KD because he didn't seen it all. But um, yeah, I, I, I. But to go back on the other thing, I think the ego part is because you said he did take a step back with uh, Chris Paul then, but he took that step right back. Yeah, that's because Chris Paul also took like 15,000 steps back after that first, <laughs> that first two years together because his body said, Bet, I got you two years and a contract. I'm, I'm heading out. I'm, I'm but I, out. I almost right. look at it. I almost look at it with our own situation. Mm-hmm. Everything changed when Zach got paid. It's true. When they get that money, it's like it's a certain, it's a certain amount of a responsibility you have. So I right. just feel like. I'm not necessarily say he will be that guy, but he just sometimes get that off. Like if one of these dudes take that shot, he gonna be like, "Dog, he that was my shot." To take. So I mean, that's yeah. <laughs> I just have fat, I just have a hard time thinking that Devin Booker will look at Kevin Durant and all his accolades and all the talent that he has and be like, "What the hell is you doing shooting a ball?" I yeah, think that sound. But I, I feel like he kind of did last year in the playoffs. It's it's my motherfucking team. That's well, it's what he's both for their team now again. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. He's it's, not the best just, player on the team. It's sure. my guy. Any, y'all. Any time KD goes to the team, it becomes at least in part his team. Yeah, it, y'all, it, 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 y'all I mean, came bad, to bro. Phoenix for me. Y'all, I'm the main reason I, y'all are here. This is they my did. shit. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they came. You can also look at him and say, bet. What can you do without? You? Oh yeah, that's right. You didn't even have a playoff <laughs> appearance before, right? I so mean, I, you can say that about anybody. I mean, not the not you want an old man Chris Paul. KD, K, I mean, KD had a three metal a monster coming into the league. True, true, true he did. But, young- I mean, he also got drafted to a terrible fucking Seattle team that they they yeah. didn't. Have, yeah, they, they had they had nothing but him. Oh, Rashad Lewis too, right? No, the, Jeff yeah, Green no, came with them. They had Rashad for like half a season. Yeah, it was I Jeff think. Green yeah. and and Hope. That's all they had in that city. <laughs> at that point. So, I mean, you make a point there, man. But Bobby, I, you were about to make a point a while ago before C Dub stepped on you, and then it just turned into a bunch of shit. <laughs> you didn't <laughs> lost me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was it was about Brad Bill. Uh, I think that Brad Bill is gonna have to change his game a lot, simply because you're the point guard now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you the guy that's going to be the point guard. And I don't think you're going to be able to be gunning the way he do. And I also want to mm. see him set people up. You know what I'm saying? Go, go ahead and set people up. You know, as a point guard, you got to be the, you know, the pretty much the operator on the, on the damn court. 
So I, I believe he's going to have to be that third star of the super team that takes a step back, and he's going to – is he going to have to see a dip in his scoring? We know we know he can score whenever he want, and it's just not going to be every game. You know what I'm saying? He's going to have those games to where he they like, hey, you got it going tonight, just go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But those other games, how you setting guys up? When things are getting close, so you down in a deficit, how do you get guys more involved to keep things moving freely and smoothly? Because we seen, you know what I'm saying, evidence when it's just when it gets a little bit stagnant, yeah, these guys can score, but it ain't gonna it ain't gonna get you to the next, you know, the next round or the next series or something like that. So that was my last yeah. point. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like Bradley Bill playing point guard. I really don't. I like mean, if anybody gonna play in seven. What do you mean? It, it, what, what? What? Why you don't like it? I mean, he his, because we seen thing. it with John. We seen it with John. I mean, at one point with John, it just didn't work. And then uh, when they even tried it without John, he, he he can't. When it comes to him, he just he don't have a feel for mm -hmm. a point guard. Like you need to have a feel for it. True, but he also never played with guys like this. Like I, I I'm not saying that I that I'm disagreeing with your evaluation of him that as is a point guard. It's not good, but like when you're playing with this level of player, I, yes, I hopefully he'll be able to do enough of it to where it can get them. It's gonna be a little hella driving kicks in this one. <laughs> no, it's, no, it's just basketball common sense, bro. These guys are good. I got to give them the basketball. He ain't got to do nothing spectacular. But the just, problem is that he's also looking and saying, "I'm also yeah. good." Yes, yes, he, but he okay. knows that. Yeah, he knows that. It's the difference between, and I think that's what, what made uh, Devin so good at being a point guard that short time in the playoffs is because he realized when he could score. Because that's one thing I've always loved about watching Chris Paul game is he knew I don't have to score, but I know when to score. And right. then I already yeah. have the point guy down of knowing who and what to who the, who needs to shot at what time. And yeah. even Devil Booker picked up on some of that. So that's why I was like, if somebody gonna play the point guard position, it better be Devin. For sure. I don't we'll know see if that's up. a good we'll idea. See. We'll, we'll see. see. I don't know if that's a good idea with Devin, though. We'll see. Know. Now, the last part, just with this team before we move on, um, the starting five. Like, do you think that relying on Nurkic to be your starting power forward, is that going to be enough? Is him and Kogi going to be enough to balance out that starting five long-term? I know it worked today, but, like, like if Nurkic goes down, do you think that that's going to cause, like, kind of – because they need such a uh, – I won't say a specific center, but really they need somebody who's going to rebound consistently, get, get some – have some rim protection. And that's mainly – do you think, like, when you look at that center position for them, if Nurkic does go down, do you look at that as being – so easy to replace that it's not really a big deal for the Suns team, or what do you guys think? Oh, go ahead, nephew. I, oh, I, was, I was gonna say, I, was, I believe, hey, they, they need the man to stay healthy, that's yeah. what they need. That's I believe, fact. like, we because a lot of people gonna be like, oh, it's a horrible trade. Why would you get rid of DeAndre? Aiden? Look, it's just a name thing. This team right here has enough offensive firepower. Yeah, the center needs to go ahead and be able to do those exact things that you just laid out play some damn defense and rebound the ball. You ain't got to do nothing else. You're going to win games by getting 10 rebounds every night, probably. Zero, yes. <laughs> two full points a game. <laughs> Come on, yep. bro. You got yep. enough offensive firepower. But when it comes to if he does go down, I don't think it's that easy to replace him because these guys are already giving out a lot of money to these big three. And then they already filled out the roster. I guess you could probably try to figure something out. But I think it's still going to be difficult because if you look at the landscape mm. that's out there, it ain't too many good centers that can come in and that that's going to fit yeah. with the team. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, when I look at this, I, I, I think this is where the problem comes in. I do think that Nurkic is a great fit. He is a more mature uh, player, the center that this team, this particular team need. But the backup is is really a question mark for me. Who do they got backing uh, Nurkic up? Uh, even if they even do that, they might let uh KD play the five. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they got who's the Azubuki's there? I think it's, yeah. I I don't think that's a a very good backup for Nurkic. Uh, if something happens to him, and it's a very possibility, if you look at his past playing in this league, that he mm -hmm. get hurt a lot. So yeah, he hasn't played over 50 games for four years. So 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 yeah, that could be a problem. They might be looking to shore that up. You know, before this thing is all said and done. But the, other than that, that's the only Achilles heel, bro. That's it. That's all I see. 
They got Eubanks down there too. Yeah, yeah. I was going. He, he I, okay. I forgot about Eubanks. Yeah, yeah. he all right. Yeah, man, I don't know. I'm about to say something. <laughs> Let me move on. <laughs> I'm about to just say something. <laughs> Joel Anthony was the starting center at that the damn. Heat what that? See, so. I, why you break his name up? I'm just saying. I was trying to say something. That you motherfucker go, was trash, bro. And he was ugly as hell. <laughs> oh yeah, his, his face that was mother, like a foot. A foot. That boy <laughs> looked like the first human fish I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I want to hear that. Uh, just uh, Moving on oh. from one new team to another, the Boston Celtics. We got the first look at the new look Boston Celtics. Now, Drew Holiday did not start with this with the Boston Celtics over the Philadelphia 76ers today. We did get to see some of those lineups, so he played 22 minutes. Did you guys get a chance to see that uh, that new look Boston Celtics team? Uh, I, I did. like. Go ahead. <laughs> I like. I seen it. Um, I like them. They're okay. But it's a little fool's gold, man. I think they lost a lot of heart, man, with Marcus Smart. Like, they get rid of these players, and and they just think they could just replace it real easy. I mean, like they did replace it with Drew Holiday. So, I mean, it's kind of hard, yeah. hard to critique them he on not, that he, one, bro. He not Drew Holiday, but Drew Holiday definitely ain't Marcus Smart and do the things that Marcus Smart did for this team, gang. Marcus Smart got him to the finals. He got him to the conference he, finals. He helped a lot. get them there by being a great in-between piece. I think I think Drew Holiday could do everything Marcus Smart came with a higher offensive ceiling. So way higher. What, what do you yeah. think about they bench, though? Oh, they bitches yeah. died awful. Yeah, died awful. bad shit. <laughs> that may be why they. I mean, they look you know, like you, the Bucks bench. You, move, you moving Derek White back to the bench potentially? Okay, but I don't. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Yeah, and I think that's what the issue gonna come in because we know Joe Mazzula, he gonna want to jack them. <laughs> you know what I'm that's saying? What he want to jack threes. That's all he gonna want to do. And to me, I think, Uncle, you said that they lost something. To Marcus Smart. I think that's a big thing. And I think they went from. With the, the losses of Grant William, uh, Marcus Grant Smart, in that is too. you lose heart. You lose toughness. And now this team, to me, looks like a finesse team. That's mm-hmm. what it looks like. Oh, it is. And when finesse long. team goes against a hard-nosed team like the Miami Heat, for an example, you get your tail sent home just like they did last year. So that's why I'm right here, and I'm putting it on record. I ain't gonna lie. Just because they got Drew Holiday, I still ain't got him going to the finals. I I I I had them as a strong case to make it to a finals, but uh, this team would be so much better if Emay was there. Yeah, yeah, they'd be so much that better. And that and it, and they only I feel like they only a finesse team because of 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 Joe Mazzula. Nobody yeah. they did not need to be turned into Golden State of the East, and that's what they look like. But a worse version. Like I don't need you chucking threes. Y'all don't have that personnel. Y'all don't. Mm-hmm. Now, I understand you add Chris Staff to replace old man Hal Horford, and I understand Drew can be a shooter at times, but living and dying by the three with Drew and them, even with Marcus Smart, was stupid to me. Like, it, it was just stupid to me. So, they, they the type of team where, like, they can't mess up in the finals. If they mess up two games, they're going to lose. So, um, they they there's just no room for error when it comes to this team. So, I also, if I'm them... I will be looking to the uh, – it's early, but I will still be looking at the trade deadline to make some more moves to sure up that bench. Yeah. And one last point. Hey, first of all, I did go in, but shout-out to Kristaps. You out here dunking like you back in New York. Hey, okay? bro. Hey, he only <laughs> he only four inches from the damn rim. He better be dunking shit. <laughs> no, but he actually jumped. Like, Kristaps ain't got to yeah. really jump. He hot. He ain't jump. He hopped. I mean, he if he hopped. jumped, because he'd probably be over the hoop if he jumped. He's going to hit his fucking head. <laughs> but with that said, you talk about the Boston Celtics and moves, man. They just made a move with one of their role players. That's Peyton Pritchard. He gets paid 40, uh, $30 million over four years. How you feeling about Pritchard's deal? And my Oregon dog. Yeah. Hey, I, he earned that money. Yeah. That's all I got to say. He earned that money. He hey, definitely bro. earned it for sure. He, he I can't earned- be mad at him for getting his bread. Get your bread. I'm not a hater for you getting your bread. I'm just mad they didn't use him more last season. Like, what was on their bird the year before? Joe Mazzula. That was on their bird. But he, he threw what is that? that season two, though. He was hurt. Yeah. Damn, I thought he was he was ready to go. He, he could have played in those finals. Yeah. It was he wasn't playing the main three people he wasn't playing. He wasn't playing Grant. Wow. Everybody they wasn't playing for real is gone now. Except yeah. Peyton. He's Except Peyton. Locked in. Yeah. Mm, yeah, that's like crazy. He, but like that's my thing. Like he 
He's arguably one of the best point, backup point guards in the league. I, I agree. And yeah. um, yeah, he earned that money. Um, he plays. He makes. Um, he's one of those dudes that make key buckets and key decisions that it's hard to find in the yeah. league. And um, like I said, that's my Oregon brother, so I'm glad he got his money. But he fit Missoula's style so much. I don't understand why he didn't play him last year, bro. That he fit it. He want to shoot as many threes as possible. <laughs> this is one of the best three point shooters on the team. Why wouldn't you get him in the game? It's crazy to me. It's crazy. Career forty point uh forty percent three point shooter taking three and a half per game. So it's not like he's taking a huge volume, but hey, look, he's still knocking them down. Yes, right. he knocked those suckers down, bro. Like it looked like they trying to do a different thing to Boston Celtics. Well, you know what like, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I mean, at this point now, like they might as well lock in everybody because once that Tatum contract comes in, <laughs> it's over. So yeah, that's, that's, so that's it, bro. It's mid level exception. And then even that, you gotta keep in mind, you at that second text apron, you you lose your exception. So they like, hey, we gotta get everybody locked bro. in right now, bro. Who I got your Donald Haslam number? Tom number. Brady need to start a, a program. Somebody need to tell these mother make some pay cuts for real. Take some pay cuts for real. Like right, these, these telling these, these dude. dude. Like what you go do with three hundred million dollars? First of all, you live in Boston. That. Boston gonna take half that shit. <laughs> He gonna do a lot with that shit, Steve. He gonna do a lot. With that. He need to get a whole new left hand. What, what he shit. don't know how to dribble left. That's why I said he need a, don't know how to dribble left. That's crazy. That's wild, bro. You need a bow arm. Bro. You need a That's bow crazy. Arm. Where did this come from? And it is so true, but I never noticed this. Never, this never, that, no, like, no, tell the truth. Did y'all know this? Like his yes. left hand was this it, trash. It, it, he was can't go left, back. and Julian Julius Randle only goes left. Now yeah. you'll never unsee it. Bro. He yeah. only goes left. Hey, see, Dub, you know how you know how I noticed it is because he was worse than Zach at the left. That's how I noticed. Ooh, that's, it that's was so Dave Celtics fan Why? was really on X or Twitter trying to convince us he worked on his left by flipping the frame of the video of him <laughs> ripping with his right hand. But in reality, <laughs> come on, bro. <laughs> They flipped the screen. <laughs> they mirrored it and made it seem as if he was dribbling the left hand, but it was really a right hand, a right hand. That's, that's to next try to level to make us trolling. believe he worked on it, bro. That's crazy. Bro. <laughs> Come on, man. That's wild. We got to be better than that. Oh, that's man. crazy. All right, man. We got to move on. That's wild, man. Shout out to Peyton Richard for getting his money, man. man. Yeah. So, lastly, we got dueling reports in regards to this nonsense around. Um, James Harden and the Clippers. So Sam Shawarni had tweeted the fact that the Clippers are trying right now to acquire more first round picks to, to trade in a potential deal for James Harden. Whereas Woj just a couple of hours later said that, that the Clippers are will not increase their offer. They want to trade for James Harden, but they will not increase their offer. What do you guys make? First of all, Woj and Shams need to get on the same page, bro. What do you think about the, the the, them, them, because these are the guys we go to for news. Complete yeah. opposite reports from them on this one. I, I, yeah, I think they ain't friends. And anytime you get to take the legs out of the other one, you you try to go ahead and do it. That's what I think. They they ain't friends. They ain't finna uh, get get with each other and get the story right. They not doing it. Hey, it's <laughs> funny to me. Go ahead, Steve-O. I just because um I went to school to journalism. It's just funny to me because it's just all about, and that's why the main reason why I stopped doing it because it gets to a point where they're just so worried about being first instead of being right. Mm. That's a fact. And that's the whole journalism thing. Like, it's first, first, first. I'm like, bro, learn about getting things right first. Like, and then that's the one thing we've noticed. Like, I don't know what year it was, maybe like, I want to say two to three years ago where that shift of Shams being like, Damn, Sham's starting to beat Woj. Like he's yeah. starting to come out with stuff. Fast. It was last all season. He really yeah, had like last two out uh, season. Yeah, and it was just like dang. Like it's always used to be we going for Woj and everything. But I think some this is just a good case of what every journalism per, or every journalist goes through. They just always want to be first and instead of being correct. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Point. But the real question is why the hell. Clips is, Clippers even want that motherfucker. Because he's a very good, he's a talented basketball yeah, player. Yeah, and he going to very, he going to kill your whole organization. Yeah, you most are, likely. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> and then, don't be surprised if you see Jordan Poole and Draymond Part 2 with him and Russ. 
<laughs> Russ ain't gonna punch nobody. He ain't punch nobody. Yeah, yet. I ain't hit Ninja nobody. Turtle head, but your head on my ain't gonna do nothing. Hey, man. hey, they uh, both uh, Russell Westbrook headbutt is assault with a deadly weapon, hey. bro. You can't For real. You can't I mean, they both got some big ass heads, but <laughs> that's crazy. I think I think them traded for him just don't. I understand it. He can't come in. And he can facilitate the hell out of the ball. Yeah, like I'm not a big fan of him, but I'm not gonna sit here and cap and say that the man can't facilitate at least well enough for the team. But my biggest problem is you already got the cyborg. Who don't who don't look play? I ain't gonna say he faking the injuries, but damn it, he ain't never playing. Now oh, and then man. you got the man that quit on teams already. What a fat suit. And uh, in my mind, a quitter. Call it how you want it, a quitter. And you're going to pair him with that? that. You're going to pair him with that? Steve Ballmer, come on, bro. You was a part of Microsoft. What we doing? What we doing? You're pay for him. The one thing that I will say is this, is I think we have to take into consideration part of the reason why the Clippers are willing to do that. And I'm just going to read a couple of numbers here. Since they traded for Kawhi Leonard, how many games do you think Kawhi Leonard's appeared in? He played like 103. 161 over three seasons. Keep in mind, 164 is a is one full season. Joe. So it, it, had, it, it, how, how many games, games do you think Paul George has played in since probably, he became? He played one, more like 215. I'm about to say about 180. 215. Oh, he uh, has appeared in 140, 141 Less? games. That's Less crazy. than Kawhi Leonard. That's that's why they're willing to trade for James. Because James Harden, hella be damned, right? He's going to get you a lot of points and a lot of stats in the regular season. Yes. But the, the thing with the Clippers are, um, in my opinion, is that they are they are just trying to hope that something sticks to the wall so they just have two out of the four of these motherfuckers healthy at the same and time. And one more business aspect to it, they are moving to a new stadium. So now you got four got super or all-stars that you could sell tickets for. So I kind of understand that business thing, but the basketball wise is just ugh. Hey, James Harden, a pretty good player, Steve. I want you. I want you. I just looked at something. The, I'm between no. James Harden, no. between James Harden, uh, 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 Paul George, and Kawhi Leonard, none of these motherfuckers have appeared in over sixty games in four years. Wow. Damn, that's this, now, this, I, this day. Hey, that's my whole that's thing. Crazy. James Harden missed fucking games too. Yeah, he, does. he missed that motherfucker missed games on the court. That hamstring. <laughs> he said he missed games thing. on the court. Never did he just he miss his <laughs> Yes, he missed game, bro. Those <laughs> games you forget this motherfucker has played. You look on the stat yeah. sheet. Why this motherfucker got eight points? On purpose. <laughs> bro, no, nah, y'all being he too nice. On purpose. I, I don't give He'll a do damn. it on purpose. I don't give y'all that's y'all fault that y'all wanted to put y'all whole faith in two injury riddled mother. That's y'all fault. If you want to sit here and add the bed, the beard banded up in this mug, go ahead. But you going that y'all franchise going straight to Hades. Oh, he already <laughs> team obliterated. Team no, right. Bro, <laughs> Not that man is a cancer to any organization That's he true. goes to. That's true. I don't what yeah. this ain't 2016 Harden. You ain't getting that many points out of him no more. You get 20 and 10. You get 20 and 10. I don't want that shit. You are like, who don't want 20 and 10, Steve? <laughs> Bro, we can find 20 and 10 for somebody else, not his. <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all not going. I'm t bro. I'm, he had a stage <laughs> with his career. I have nothing nice to say. If you don't le leave Kimbo Edge, Kimbo, like it, bro. <laughs> I hope he start fighting like Kimbo. I want somebody to knock his ass out. <laughs> uh, tired of him. Man, I'm at a. Y'all thought I was tired of Kyrie and KD. I can't stand that mug. Y'all want to see something funny? Go back and look at James Harden before he grew the beard, bro. I almost forgot what home yeah, look like a he look like a guinea <laughs> pig. Love hey, no, he looked love. like what's that alien movie movie with Seth Rogen? That's what that motherfucker right. looked like, bro. <laughs> look like them, he looked like them aliens off of LA. Paul, that's the name of the movie. Paul. He looked like the alien in Paul, bro. That's crazy, bro. All I know is I know it's some food in that beard. Oh, oh yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Damn. Want a Trina toenail still in that motherfucker, bro? It's a lot <laughs> of shit. Left Trina? In that beard, bro. Damn, Steve. <laughs> This dude just 
that's a lot of things I just don't like. He his game suck. His taste in women suck. What? Oh, what you else? being irrational. His game suck. <laughs> Bro, his game suck. What did Kobe say? What did Kobe say? What did he say, Steve? You, you ain't, ain't no win, win no championship playing like that. And everybody thought Kobe it's was It's been correct. true so far. It's true so far. <laughs> Bro. Oh, it's going to be true. It's going to be true. It ain't going to change. It's going to always be true. You, see, like well, you see why Luka can't figure it out? Because he followed in that James Harden formula. I stand yeah. corrected. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much for saying that, bro. <laughs> I, I appreciate I'm, I'm, that, Steve. I'm not even trying to hate because once upon a time, I used to love watching James Harden. But after that second and third year of Houston, I was like, why you only go up and down? You, I haven't seen this man do a left to right elf since he left OKC. Hey, uh, he averaged 37 <laughs> points, though. <laughs> Ref baiting, <laughs> and they changed the rule. And anybody, can, bro. Oh no, this... that's two different people, gang. <laughs> <laughs> that mother, that mother look like one look like one look like he grabbed motherfuckers, and then the other one look like an attorney. <laughs> oh, bro, <laughs> an attorney. A Tony, attorney. What, 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 what are the uh, the the opposing lawyers in law and order oh, show up? <laughs> you know, after the, like to represent the damn child molesters. <laughs> I'm sorry, my client. <laughs> His you know, like looks like he, he like he graduated from ITT Tech. That's what he looked like. Go to ICDC College. That boy grew that beard out. He grew that beard out. Women grab their children on the sidewalk when he walked past. Come here, baby. We don't know what he doing over there. Come on. Oh, ugly. Damn, bro. Can't stand that. Man. He probably he he'll never win a championship. But damn, but you can say he talented. That's all. No. No, he was talented. He was. I'm, I'm not been bro. The Chicago no. Bulls have traded for James Harden. I, 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 love I as God <laughs> is my witness, <laughs> as God is my witness, that's the day you could call me a bad wagon because I ain't fucking with this team. <laughs> I'm telling you that right now. I'll be damned. I, I will. Y'all just go. I promise you, it's gonna be in the middle of the night. Y'all just gonna hear a loud ass scream. It was me. <laughs> they, they, uh, but they got to move. Blaze fan has run their car into the United Center today. <laughs> he got to go his, somewhere. He got to go somewhere, though. He got to go somewhere, though. He can't play in Philly. Yeah, home. home. He ain't going home. That's a for sure. Why not? He had to go to the club. That was 20 and 10. Home. Somebody picking up 20 and 10. Bro, for he, sure. All he wanted, he swear he AI. He ain't. He, he James Harden, gang. I don't give it, bro. You know, if you the only people that get that privilege, if you give me a hundred percent every night, that motherfucker be giving us 50 for the last four years. I don't give a damn about that hamstring. You been you been giving us bullshit. Fuck that. You wanna be named as one of those best shooting guards in the league, play right. You ain't right, been playing right. right. <laughs> You, you, you see, every time you mention James Harden around, this right, he be ready to go. He black the fuck out, bro. He done. He done. Hey, you be like, hey, hey, them new James Harden sneakers are fire. Is no, the fuck you know, know, is the hell, 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 ugly as hell. The, you can go down on like, come who on, the hell, put like, SpongeBob on that shit. That man had a how the hell you mess with the beat? He had that man had some bikini bottoms editions. What type of shit is that? Hell no, oh gang. my Jesus! Oh, gang. Listen, I've you never got seen Steve somebody started. C Dub. What bro, I have no crazy. idea, bro. I know that's crazy. From now on, we have a James Harden top. We're gonna have to be like, hey, hey, Steve. <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> five minutes. <laughs> He not <laughs> playing neither game. I hope the motherfucker trip tonight. <laughs> That's crazy. Any last thoughts or anything, fellas? He a, he a bum. Y'all better not trade for him. Y'all <laughs> trade for him. I, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be one of the biggest regrets y'all made in y'all life. Steve Bomber, you, you, he going to be jumping, but ain't going to be here for happiness. <laughs> oh my god. And then he going you right. Steve going fight he going be well you might want to cuz you going to find the hell out of him you going to probably get a good 3 to 4 million out of him. So man maybe that's what you want to do. Go and bring him in. Go in. You want to put him in Inglewood go. All right, we was trying to close the show. That <laughs> motherfucker started like, God damn. We just started the second show. That's like Jesus Christ. <laughs> 
Steve-O. Hey, final thing for me. Don't get social media, man. Let's get up out of here, bro. Hey, man. Make sure y'all do y'all thing. Hit the like and subscribe to the channel. It is what it is. Do not say the t- the name of the bearded one around. Oh, my God. He shall not be named. <laughs> Unless you call him the bastard. It ain't the beard no more. The bastard. See, look, he's starting to get give me your social media, motherfucker. Let's go. Bro. Y'all know what it is. Steve O speaks. Follow me on everything. Follow the whole central gang. I'm over there. I dibble and dab and all. That's it. That's it. That's Jesus, man. You can follow the show at NBA Central Pod. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns. NBA Central Show at gmail.com. And if you want to leave a voicemail and our text message, 773-270-2799. We're about this mug. I hope they spill beer on his ass. Hey, he know his daddy. This has been a presentation of the Breaks Breaks Media. Media.